Hey, good morning, everybody. So as you can see, I just got out of the shower. I worked out this morning. And we're gonna do, uh, basically get ready with me. Um, Kai took a little bit to kind of get up. Good morning. Um, so basically what I had planned, uh, my moms will understand that that's basically switched. Um, so we're just gonna get ready together um, and basically just try to do a look that's quick, easy. Hey, happy birthday! Well, belated birthday, happy birthday. Um, that way we can look presentable since we only do this once a week because I don't put on makeup. Um, so right now what I'm doing is just putting on a serum on my face. Um, it is by The Ordinary. If you don't know, if you do know about The Ordinary, it's amazing. You should go get it before they change the formula. Um, very sad about that. It's definitely going to happen. Um, so I like to put this on first. Um, and then since Kai is awake, she's only going to kind of let me do at the max 15 minutes to maybe 20 minutes to, um, yes, yes, the brand, uh, 20 minutes to kind of get ready. So, you know, when you're in a pinch and you want to look presentable, uh, this is basically going to be that tutorial for you. Um, so, yep, I have like this palette in front of me that I got, and I actually really like it because it comes with a lot of neutrals, a lot of everyday wear. So this is the palette here, um, and I'm really into greens, like I did that green look, and everybody like references that green look that I did, and I actually really like it. Um, so... Then I'm gonna just miss my face real quick. I don't want to put too much on my face. Um, so just to high, um, put some moisture back into my face because my face is really dry. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So, yep, I finally got up, mustered up the courage to work out. Really excited about that. Got a workout in. It's been it's been it's been a chill, a very chill week. Um. So yeah, I'm excited about the brand. I'm excited to talk about it when it actually is like completed and everybody to have it and everybody, you know, and for me to have it because I still just personally don't have it. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that and just teaching people how to do everyday looks and just a little bit more vamped like how a makeup artist would. Um, I got this little sponge. It's not a beauty blender and it's not a real technique brush. It's like some other type of brush. Um, so I'm going to put that on. My face, I'm using the It Cosmetics. I love this stuff. Um, I wanna try the Camp Von D, that viral uh, foundation, but at the same time, uh, there's like a lot of mixed reviews um, about it, but I have dry skin, so I know it would work great on my skin since it has like, it's like a bomb. Um, and bombs are really good for every day. Tinta moisturizers are really good for every day because I don't know if she has SPF on it, but this has SPF on it. Um, that way, if you're not going to wear a sunscreen, you're going to be on camera. Just want to just put some type of SPF, even if it looks like how it looks in Charlotte right now, which is blah. Um... I'm not mad about it because I like weather like this for some reason like when it's sunny I just always want to go out and then when it's like rainy I stay in I'm just more productive 
Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. I actually like this like flat top versus like a slanted top. Yeah, the It Cosmetics just, it's just so bomb. It just lays on the skin perfectly. I have excess foundation on my hand, so I'm trying to wipe that off. So yeah, it's been a chill week. So yeah, launch date for the brand. Still don't know yet, but it is definitely looking more so May. So I'm really excited about that. I It will be kind of like a soft launch before it becomes like the full on launch. Um, so hopefully like maybe next year we can do a cute little event showcasing good morning kai um i have two different bags that i'm going in and out of trying to find my two concealers that i always use so this is always a good one when you're trying to rush it's just always using um concealer to just brighten it up Cause it's just gonna help it's gonna give you more of that polished look and then also the primer primer is key because usually when you're doing a look like this sometimes it may seem like in 10 minutes like the foundation or by the end of the day the foundation is completely gone um so you just want to make sure that you're kind of like a little bit a little heavy-handed but this will soak up some of that Oh, this is really, I like the way that's cut too, because this is really nice, like, in this area. And usually what I do is I just put it in that area so that I just look more, like, awake, as you guys know. But this is just a quick little get ready with me. Coming back into the routine. You know, these videos are really, me jumping on live is just, Really answering anybody's questions on makeup, re me really explaining the makeup. I don't technically want it to be a tutorial because you guys can find that on YouTube. So I, it's really just me hopping on here. If you have a question, if you're getting ready for a Zoom, if you're getting ready for work, um, and you just maybe made a mistake or just want some advice on what makeup to buy or whatever the case may be um that's why i'm here and it's just a way for me once a week to get myself looking a little bit presentable versus looking like homely as a couple of my clients and me have talked like it's just been where we just look homely all the time and i'm I'm over it, so I'm kind of over looking homely. So if I'm not going nowhere, hey, I'm just going to do this. Um, I know some people, what they'll do for like a fast look, they won't really structure their face too. That's another tip. You want to structure it. You want it to pop, um, not just throw bronzer around because that'll give you that makeup artist look. Um, this is one of my brushes. I'm so excited about this. It's so like lightweight, but it's dense at the same time. And it doesn't move like if I'm swirling, it doesn't move my foundation underneath around. I know some foundation brushes will do that. And this does not. It even takes the access. I love it. I'm like, I'm so in love with like this brush. I'm in love with all 12 brushes. That's the complete set. But this brush right here, cause I've never been able to use a brush to like do my foundation. Sometimes like it moves around. Um, so really good to just have a brush now that I can do that with. Um, but like I said, these tutorials were just for Good morning. Just if you have any makeup questions, just so you can, you know, for my moms out there that just want to look presentable and not look homely. And 
have a way to brighten up their eyes, brighten up, you know, I know a lot of people have questions on like eyebrows or they have questions on eyeshadow. Like a lot of people know how to do the face, but it's the eyeshadow that they have trouble with or the contouring that they have trouble with. Um, so that's what these makeup mornings are going to be. Just informational and you can follow along. You could do a different look. You can write in the chat if you want me to, you know, do a different look. But yeah, just trying to put ourselves together, get ready for when the world opens up again. Uh, it's going to be great. I mean, the world is opened up, but like, I mean, without masks would be nice. Still a little self-conscious not wearing a mask out. So that's going to be different getting used to um, having to not wear a mask. It's going to be really different. So this is another motion too. I know a lot of people swipe. Dabbing in really like it really helps. Um, it just sets into the skin and it doesn't move any foundation around. So that's always good. So dabbing and then no, what I tell a lot of my clients is swiper, no swiping. You're not going to swipe. You're going to dab. Do people still do that? I feel like I'm so old now. Like. I'm so old. I am? Yay. That's that's crazy. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so yeah, just dabbing. And I'm leaving my under eye because I want to, especially in the morning, you want to just brighten up that area. So I like to use my contouring um palette and it has like the brightening shade. So I like to just use the same brush and then dab under that. That way that just looks a little bit more awake. I'm trying to see if I, I want to say I, I do have a brush like this. I just don't know. I have like trillions of brushes in front of me right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I just said that because I mean, that's usually what you should do in makeup like literally dab your face instead of like swiping so i'm just pressing it should i just use the word press press it in your skin instead of swiping there you go but yeah any new words <laughs> even though i'm not gonna use them um so I, then I go, and then layering too. Layering always helps with making your makeup last because this will kind of go away after a few hours. And so if you layer on a cream contour, then a, um, a powder contour on top, you're layering so your skin isn't, it's like going through the layers. <laughs> use that one and said okay cool this is another one of my brushes and really this one is like just to swipe up it's easier but I'm just so used to patting in pressing in I don't even know I think the last time I wore makeup was the last time I was on a live that's how long mm, that's crazy and people think, oh, because you're a makeup artist, you wear makeup every day. No, I do not. When you do makeup on clients, you don't you don't put it on your skin as much as people think that you do. I mean, there's some makeup artists. I used to in the beginning. I used to just, I got to go to work with makeup. I got to um, go to clients with makeup. Nope, I learned a long time ago that if I went to a client with makeup, they would want the same thing I had on and not necessarily will look the same on you as it does on me. Everybody is different. So then I would do makeup or a similar look. 
Yes. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen my, I think I've always seen both my hairstylists like in a bun like me. I rarely see hairstylists do make like uh, do their hair. Or if their hair is really short, then I see it like down and out. I have to wax my eyebrows. This is how you know I haven't done my makeup. It's because my eyebrows are so bushy right now. Oof. Got to get that under control. See, when you don't go nowhere and really like filling this in, it's just I'm going to fill it in on the edge of this and that's it. And then I just try to keep it as natural as possible, but like a little filled in, especially when I need to wax them. Waxing or, you know, tweezing your eyebrows is always key to when you're doing your makeup. It just looks better. You don't want a whole bunch of concealer concealing that. You just want to clean it up and it'll, it'll look better just clean instead of what I'm doing. So don't really follow what I'm doing. I would suggest cleaning it up under this little area right here and you should be good. Kai is on her iPad, like I said, then it'll become like in a little bit, she'll be like, okay, I'm ready for breakfast, I'm ready to go. So I'm like, let me hop on here now in a little bit for a little while and then yeah at least at least I'll look good a, le a little presentable because usually I walk out of here with nothing on but I don't like wearing masks with makeup bye thank you <laughs> I definitely will she's copying right Copying me right now. Um. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I haven't worn makeup in a very long time. <laughs> I feel I feel a little great just with this. I can leave the house. Um, but thank you. Have a great day. Whatever you do. Kai said, have a great day. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow. And usually, like I said, I just go in with a neutral color. And I think I'm just gonna put this color in the crease and then just do a shimmer all over. But yeah, usually like this and like an eyeliner will be amazing. I like more so matte looks, especially like quick, easy. So with eyeshadow looks, you know, if you have an eye shape like mine, you can do the windshield wiper motion. When you have like more like hooded eyes, I would keep everything out here in this area. So I would kind of just do circle of motions out here. Um, and a smoky eye just always looks good on everyone like you cannot go wrong with a smoky eye i've been looking for this brush that i just picked up in <laughs> in my makeup pile and this is the brush that i actually use for my kit and i've been looking for it always doing the under under eye too i know some people miss that but just putting just some type of color doesn't have to be dark will also emphasize like your look and you'll look polished. And then I connect it on the end. I'm gonna do a little bit, I wanna do a little bit of eyeliner and then I'm gonna smudge it out and then I'm just gonna put some of this green like just in the center just to give my eye a little pop. So, I'm gonna tight line my eye. Yes, the school bus. That's gonna be another transition. Kai is going to school in September. I'm like so excited. She cries every time she sees the school bus now. 
because she wants to go to school. But really excited for her. So I'm just going to do like a little baby wing because it just like amps up my eye. Um, and we're going to layer this as well. So we're going to start with the eyeliner, but then we're going to go in with the... Um, eyeshadow to really just define it. It's a little sloppy, but it's fine. Kai's letting me do my thing right now, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. Uh, so yeah, I don't necessarily want to wing. I just want to emphasize and like make it smoky. So smoky is when your eyeshadow is blown out and it looks hazy versus smoky being black. I know some people think smoky is black, but that's not. Daddy is at an appointment. Um, so I'm just kind of blowing it out, diffusing it, nothing, no rhyme or reason. Just wanted to look hazy. And so, like, I love this. I would keep it like this and just put on some lashes and call it a day because I really like this. But I'm just going to do a little bit of um, pop just in my center. I don't know what green. Oh, that's a green green. That's like a... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do, it's called olive green. And so I like take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand. And then what I'm gonna do is just like, just kind of dab it in the center and that's it. And it's just, this area just looks more awake. I'm also gonna put maybe Yep, so like that. And then I'm gonna just diffuse it, of course. I have no idea what time it is, but like I said, this is when you're just trying to hurry up, look good. And I'm not gonna put lashes on camera, but you could definitely amp up this look with some lashes. And taking this and just diffusing it a little bit in the Up there like look at that some mascara this is the best mascara ever I love this drugstore mascara Maybelline always comes through with great mascara so the sky high oh I love it I've never been a girl that spend like a lot of money on mascara Mascara now is getting up there. I remember when mascara was like $2, $3. Um, but mascara has definitely gone up to, I think, $11, $12. I think this is $13. So it's getting up there. Um, my very, like, my high-end mascaras that I love. Oh, my God. Lancome is one of them because I used to work for them. And Chanel. I had a sample once of Chanel. Oh my God, that mascara. But back then I did have longer lashes, so it definitely made a difference. Um, so yeah, if you ever get mascara like anywhere on your eye right here, let it dry and then take like a little spoolie. It looks like your mascara wand, but it's clean. It's at the end of basically your eyebrow i would clean it and then just scrape it off and put a little bit of powder on and you're back to good um if you get it anywhere on your face too you should be good a little tip i know some people might know that already but it's always good to reinforce because i know some people you know looking down too it's slippery Kai's playing her game. She plays, she likes to play this game. Daniel the Tiger game. But yeah, I love this mascara. 
And even doing like a half half lash on the edge of your eye, super cute. Doing it on there right here. And then just refreshing. You could take like a setting powder and set. You could take um the mist and just refresh your face because you know you, you have something on top of your skin, it is kind of gonna wear off. But if you have a good primer on, it shouldn't. So now like I don't know how long we've been on here. I want to see. Oh, no. That's just making it. I don't know what that's making it do, but I don't want to. Um, so lid, highlighter, and then also um, some blush. Like you guys know, I'm not a big uh, blush person, but if I have one that I like... I kind of want to use this like rose gold eyeshadow I have for a highlight. Maybe not. It's too like chunky. It's so nice. It's like ethereal looking. Um, I might. Hey, it's makeup. We play with some makeup. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of it. I said a little bit and here comes a lot <laughs> and just put that yeah it's so cool I never experiment with like different type of high like you know you could and this is an eyeshadow so it's not technically an highlight but I like it it gives like that warm ethereal look that's nice and I will put like a little bit on the tip of my nose. Oh yeah, that's cool. And with the blush, I would like to use like a, like a corally to kind of match with that. Yeah, a little coral color. Coral looks so good with green and it's spring look at that cheek this is another eyeshadow by the way so you can use eyeshadows and they last a little bit longer than blushes so oh yeah that's really cute that's gonna be nice in photos when i get this hair together so we are almost done. I'm going to spray myself. You guys, you have to go potty? I love spraying my face like a lot. One of my brides, she <laughs> texts me because we did photos of spraying her face for like, um, like setting it of course, but I had already set it. And then the photographer was like, oh, can we use that for image? And literally she texts me, she's like, it's 2 a.m. and my face has not come off. So setting spray really does work. And I know sometimes like it's it's weird just seeing people just spray their face a trillion times, but it works. Um, I know I usually do a neutral. I wish I had like a mm, do I? No, I don't want to look like a clown. So we have this going on here. So we'll keep that there. I want to clean this up some. It's kind of like, like it when it's like blown out. It doesn't really look like it stops ends foundation or eyeshadow, not foundation. Uh, oh, I do. I have one from... Fenty Beauty. I love this one. It's called um, Unattached. So usually what I do with colors like this, if I don't want it to be too bold, I'll just take it on the back of my hand and I'll dab a little bit. No. 
and just dab and then put a gloss of course because it's spring over it and see playing with color still like that was fast it's kind of you don't have to you could do that first eye and don't add the green um but playing with color really amps your look so if you do an everyday look try playing with a new color try playing with a new color on your eyes it'll always amp you up it'll always elevate your makeup look and kind of make you look like oh my god like did someone do your makeup did a makeup artist do your makeup you just be like, no, girl, I did it. I'm trying to find a gloss. Oh, this one's this one's a good one. It's like it's the new one from Maybelline as well. See me, Maybelline, and it's like an ethereal kind of like the highlight. So when I have lip colors like this, I don't like to go in like that. I just put it in the back of my hand again. I love these so much. These are definitely very comparable to the uh, Fenty Gloss, but this is like a little bit thicker consistently consistency. So you see the lip, the gloss kind of tones down a little bit. I feel like I got. I love it. Mm. Another trick too, if you think you have some gloss on the top, you can take your sponge and kind of fix it that way. Yes, yes. I like this. This was quick, simple, and you look very much nice and springy. So you can take away the green eyeshadow if you want to, um, or you can just use the top lip. I'm blending again with my fingers. Your fingers are always the best tools. Um, and I definitely would put my hair down and wear a nice little spring little dress. I'm so excited for spring. I'm in, like in love with this lip color. I feel like this is going to be like my spring and summer lip color. Fenty always comes through. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get dressed now. I hope you had good morning. Good morning. I missed you too. Um, so I'm going to get dressed now. If you guys want to rewatch this, it will have a snippet on IG, but it's going to be on my YouTube page. So the full video will be on the YouTube page. So that's what I'll start doing from now on is the live and then the snippet will be on IG, but it'll direct you to YouTube. And I will be here next Wednesday to get ready and talk makeup and talk life. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the day because I wanna get out this house. I've been in this house like literally all week. Um, so just to get some fresh air, I hope you have a great day and I hope everybody has a great day that is going to watch this now later. Um, and I will see you guys next Wednesday at 8 a.m. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.